and welcome to Shannon Elementary School News. I'm Samaja Geisen. And I'm Addison Loving. First in news today, we have Gary Johnson reporting live from the Mall at Barnes Crossing. Let's go to Gary. From the Mall at Barnes Crossing, here behind me you see a couple of charter buses where groups from Shannon Elementary and Mobile Elementary are getting loaded to head to our national capital, Washington, D.C. These students will be touring and sightseeing all kinds of national memorials, including the Washington Monument, the White House, and Lincoln Memorial. Just to name a few, we will be back later in the newscast with updates of how the trip is going. For now, this is Gary Jones reporting live for the SES News. That look like it'll be lots of fun. We'll give you more updates on the Get to Class trip to Washington, D.C. Now we are going to Wayland Buscar, who is giving us an update on the map test. I'm here with Mr. Alan Stanford, Shannon Elementary School's principal. Today we would like to talk to you about the MAP test. Could you tell us what exactly the MAP test is about? Sure, well, the MAP stands for Mississippi Assessment Program. And it's about testing our kids to see how they're developing along the way. Uh, from third grade through eighth grade, and as the age range that we're dealing with here, of course, third through fifth grade at our school. Uh, but for, they measure progress for students to see, make sure that teachers are doing their jobs, for one, and that the kids are learning what they're supposed to learn. Yeah. How, and how have you and the teachers prepared the students for the test? Well, our teachers plan very carefully in using our data about where our students are. For example, when we take the STAR test and the common assessments, we use that data to sort of dictate how we teach and what we teach so that we know where each student is at all times during the year. That sounds great, and I know everyone will do great on the test. Back to you, Edison. Good luck to all the students who are taking that MAP test. Next we'll hear from Cadence Wilson, Wilson, Wilson who's talking to Ms. McCray. I am here today with SES Assistant Principal Ms. Beverly McCray. Can you tell us about the uh, Accelerated Reader Program and what it is? Yes, here at Shannon Elementary School we participate in the Accelerated Reader Program. The students choose books from the library or their teacher's classroom and those books are leveled books and they have to be on that student's level. And the level is determined after they take the STAR reading test. Well, what are some ways that you encourage students to participate in the program? Okay, uh, once, students, um, choose, once the student chooses a book, they have to maintain or they have to meet two goals. They have to maintain an 85% or higher percent average correct goal and they have, to, they have to maintain their point goal as well. And if they maintain those two things throughout the nine weeks, we have a celebration every nine weeks for those students who meet their AR goals. Um, the first nine weeks, the students had to, uh, or the students were able to build their own Sundays, and then the second nine weeks, the students got to participate in an hour on our bouncy house, and then this third nine weeks, the students will participate in a skating outing. They'll be going skating, and then the fourth nine weeks, they'll get to participate in outdoor activities, and they'll have a snow cone. Well, wow, that sounds like lots of fun. Uh, thanks for your time, Miss McCray. Now back to you in the newsroom. Now we are going back to Washington, D.C. with the update from Luke Armstrong, who is standing in front of the Lincoln Memorial. This is Luke Armstrong reporting live at the Lincoln Memorial with Miss Walker. She is going to be talking with us, uh, with us today about what it means to be standing here. So, what it means to me to be standing here at this beautiful memorial is that, um, you know, when you think about America's history, the Lincoln Memorial is one of the things that stands out the most for our nation's capital. So it's really special to be able to be here and see it in person. Thank you. Back to you. What a neat experience for those students. Let's go to Samantha Stegall to find out about the Gumtree Riding Contest. Thank you, Samaja. I'm standing in one of Shannon Elementary School's classrooms with Ms. Lauren Golden. Ms. Golden, did you have any students to participate in the contest? Sure, Samantha. Shannon Elementary actually had several students to participate in third, fourth, and fifth grade. It is a contest um, for participants in Lee County, and it's an opportunity for, for students of all different ages to submit pieces of writing from different genres, and they are then um, advised by their teachers at school on ways to fix that through the writing process, and then those are submitted in this contest that we also have our peers, other teachers in the district can look at those and actually use a rubric to 
to grade those, and then they choose a winner. Okay. Um, do we have a winner at this school? We do have a winner at Shannon Elementary. We have a young lady in fifth grade named Corey Morris, and she actually won in the gum tree writing contest. So how will she be recognized? Well, we have the Gum Tree Festival that's located in Tupelo, Mississippi. It's usually around the second weekend in May, and it's an opportunity for her family and the residents of Shannon and also teachers as well to go see uh, what, what prize she won and see her recognized for being a great writer. Wonderful. Good luck to those students and congratulations to Corey Mo Morris. Back to you. Ella Shema is with Ms. Nelson to tell us about SES's recent performance. Ms. Nelson, can you tell us where the idea came from to do this production? Well, Ms. Lucius and Ms. Newell uh, wrote a grant for uh, the school to do this play. Um, they wrote Disney and Disney gave us the rights to produce this play and gave us the rights to the music by Elton John. So all of this is the things that you would see on the Broadway, just it's an elementary version. Cool. How many students do you, did you have produ participating in this production? We have about 35 students participating and all together it's about 50 people that are working on this production. Wow. I, was, I had a front row seat and it, let me tell you, it was amazing. Now we have some special guests to tell you more. We're here from Shannon High School. My name is CJ Brim and I'm here with Miss Layla. And tell me, who's your favorite character in Lion King? Um, Nala. Because uh, she is this young Nala. Um, lioness who never gives up. Uh, tell me, who is your role in the play? Um, Scar. You think Scar is a bad person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. I'm Tyler Roberts and I'm sitting here with Jeremiah. Um, what was your favorite part about making the play? Um, uh, just acting and moving around, having fun, having fun with my friends and doing a lot, doing new activities. Right, what was the hardest part about making the play? Writing my lines because it's a very big play and I've never had this many lines before. Thanks, Jeremiah. I'm Kaya. I'm here today with Zach. Um, Zach, why did you audition for the play? Because I like the movie The Lion King and it is one of the best movies that I have seen. What did you have to do to prepare for the play? I had to learn my lines, sing, and Dance. Okay. Thank you. I'm Timberland and I'm here with Danielle. So what so what was your favorite part about the movie? When Simba is with the hyenas and he laughs in a face he said he laughs in the face of danger, but he doesn't realize danger's all around him. What was your favorite part about the play? The same part except for when one of the hyenas started left like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to you. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it for this time. Back to you. Now we're going to Katie Flat, who, Katie Flat, who's talking, who's talking to a fourth grade student, Cal Kelly. Arlington National Cemetery is a humble place located in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Today, I'm here with fourth grade student. Kyle Kelly, who just recently traveled to lay the wreath from the Tomb of the Unknowns. Kyle, could you tell us what this experience meant to you? It was an honor to lay the wreath on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and I will never forget that in my life. Were you nervous whenever you were doing it? I was very nervous, but I tried to hide it as, as, quick, as possible as I could. Such honor and experience I know you will never forget. Thanks for talking with us, Kyle. For SES News, I'm Kane Flatt. That was a great experience. Next we will see what the first year of teaching is like for a first year teacher. Let's go to Russ Blankenship. Thanks guys, I'm Russ Blankenship here with Shannon Elementary's newest edition, Miss Krista Ballard. Miss Ballard, how has your first year of teaching gone? Um, it's gone by really, really fast. I can't believe that we're already in our last nine weeks, but it's really opened my eyes to just how challenging the role of being a teacher is. There's so much that goes into it that I didn't even realize. So uh, overall, how would you say this year has been rewarding? 
Uh, it has been very, very rewarding um, in many ways. It's rewarding whenever you see a student get excited over mastering a skill that they've been struggling with and knowing that you've helped bring them to that point. Um, it's been rewarding even whenever those students whose names you kind of have to say more than once come up and give you hugs because that lets you know that they know that you still love them. Well, I know you do a good job teaching because we're lucky to have you at Shannon Elementary School. Back to you guys. Congratulations, Ms. Ballard, for surviving your first year of teaching at Shannon Elementary School. For our final report, we're going back to we're going back to Washington D.C. for our final update for the gifted gifted class trip. This is Zach Armstrong reporting live from Washington D.C. If you look behind me, you will see the Washington Monument. Today, I have with me. Dad Clark. How has the trip been going? Good so far. We've seen a lot of events. We've seen the Smithsonian. We've eaten at a lot of nice restaurants. Been to the White House, Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, Mount Vernon, the U.S. Capitol, and many other places. I don't too, too many to name. Which one was your favorite? Mount Vernon. I enjoy Mount Vernon. See, I enjoy Washington. Spent his years here and the early years of our country. It was really interesting. Well, that's it, folks. We've made a lot of memories here. This is Zach Armstrong signing off. I know they had so much fun. That is all for today on SCS's News. Thanks for watching! I'll speak up now. Go ahead. Who's next? Miss Ballard, how has your this year been rewarding? Um, hang on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Russ Blankenship here with S. Shannon. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing here with Miss Noel discuss the play. Miss Snow, what can you tell us where the idea came from? Miss Nelson. <laughs> it was an honor to lay the wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldiers. I messed up. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know he was doing. I thought he was going to say something. Today we would like to talk to you about the map test. What, what is a map test? What is a map test? Map stands for Mothers Against Punks. Wonderful. Good luck to those students. And what was that? What was that? I had to remember. I'm here today with me, with Assistant Principal Miss Beverly McCray. I forgot. <laughs> can you tell us some ways? That, can you Teacher tell us what this is? Remember yesterday we did drama club starting at Carmel Bell. We're going to do the same thing today. Do not. Hello, we're from Shannon High School. My name is C.J. Brill. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought okay. I thought